Alright, thank you for clicking on this video and today what I'm going to share with you is the concept of object-oriented programming in Dart and Flutter. So let's begin. So what is object-oriented programming? So I would say object-oriented programming consists of these four principles which are called encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, and polymorphism. So for you guys who are junior developers, don't worry so much. I'm going to explain as simple as possible. And at the same time, I'm going to give you examples that you might want to use in your Flutter project. So why do we need object-oriented programming? So as you have been building your Flutter project and playing around with the Flutter framework and the Dart programming language, you might have seen that you might use a certain widget many, many times that's very similar. So by refactoring in the object-oriented programming way, you can actually modify it and make it reusable for future use so that when you have any new changes in the future, you don't have to go to all of the different files to change for example a color in a different widget that you have implemented the theme color so at the same time it's easy to maintain and modify existing code as new objects can be created with small differences to existing ones and then at the same time it is good to define abstract data types where implementation details are hidden and unit has defined interfaces basically means it gives you a clear modular and reusable structure for your flutter project so let's begin so i have with me here inside this dart pad a user class that has a very simple name field and a birthday field at the same time we will have the getter method that is called age so this age getter method how it calculates the age is that we will get the current year so in order for you to get the current year, you can get it by datetime.now.year and then at the same time, we will minus off your current birthday.year. So that's a very simple implementation of a user in your, you know, Flutter project. The first thing that I want to introduce is abstraction. So what is abstraction? So abstraction is when a programmer hides all but the relevant data or method about an object in order to reduce complexity and increase in efficiency. So you might hear of this word abstraction a lot. We have already did an abstraction inside our user object. Do you know what we did so far? If you guess the age method, you are correct because the user does not want to know how we got the age but they want to know what our current age is so for example if we were to have a final new user and this is equal to a user and we are going to create an instance of the user object and we will type in our name and my name is happy harris and at the same time my birthday is a date time object so I'm going to put my birthday as 2000 and then I was born on 1st January and let's print out the new user age. If we were to run this, we will probably be now at the age of 20. So for a user, we care about the age. We don't care about how it's being calculated. So that's a simple form of abstraction. So the next one is encapsulation. So what encapsulation does is basically it hides the different internal representation or a stake of an object. So basically making things private. So you have a private method, you have a private field or variable that you have so that people will not see it. For example, our birthday because we are insecure about when we are born, but that's fine. So we are going to do some encapsulation in our user object. So in our user object, we actually can bring out our birthday. So if you were to type in birthday, and if you were to run this, you could see that it returns us a date time object. And then if you were to use this, it will look something like this. And the thing is, we don't want anyone to know our birthday. So first of all, we can just comment this out first. And then at the same time, we can just remove this dot birthday inside our constructor. And then at the same time, we can remove this final keyword. 
So now we have a property that is not a final variable inside our user object. However, we can still call the word birthday inside it. So in order for us to not have this birthday available for anyone to use, we can instead use this thing called a setter method. So what we can do is we can type in void set birthday and then this is just a regular function but it is just a simple setter method. And now with this setter method, what we can do is we can now change this current birthday property into a private property. So now no one can use our birthday property. And as you can see over here at the bottom, new user dot birthday is unavailable or undefined. All right. So the next thing is that we are going to set our underscore birthday, which is a private variable inside our user. And we are going to just put this over here first because we are referring to our birthday that is private so no one knows when our birthday is. Secondly is that we're going to set our birthday. So we are going to get the user input which is inside our argument. So let's just copy and paste this over here and we can type in date of birth which is the same as birthday. And this setter method, what it will do is that we will override our underscore birthday inside of our user object. We will type in underscore birthday, which is currently no value or null. And then we are going to assign it to the date of birth that we have put inside our argument. All right. So my bad. Don't put any written types on setters. Okay. So now at the same time, we can't call the birthday. Alright, so once we are done creating our setter method, next is we're going to set the birthday property inside our user object. So one thing that you can do is you can either type in new user dot birthday is equal to this date time that we have commented over here. So you just copy and paste it over here. And now if you were to just type in dot age, then if you were to run this, you could see that we are 20 years old right now. So another way for you to make it, I guess, a little bit cleaner is that you can just remove this comment. You can remove this comma as well. And you can put these two dots, which basically is the same as doing this. So we can just remove this new user dot with the semicolon. And if you were to format it, let's format it like this. And if you were to run this, right, there you go. You have your age that's printed out. So no one can access your birthday, but anyone can set your birthday. And that's the essence of encapsulation. So no one can know when is your birthday, but everyone can know how old you are which is, I guess, something better. So the next thing is inheritance. So what is inheritance? Basically, is when you are acquiring a property of another class. So an example of inheritance, not your parents' or grandparents' money, but more towards you are inheriting the traits of your parents, like your eyes, nose, and mouth, and whatever, right? So with inheritance, you can reuse the fields and methods of an existing class, and inheritance facilitates reusability. So if you want to monetize your Flutter app, what you can do is you probably have a free version, and a paid version. So your users can be comprised of two types, free users and a paid user. So you can use inheritance for this situation where you can have the free user and the paid user inheriting from the parent object, which is the user class. And then at the same time, your free user and a paid user is your child class. So you might have heard of this parent child widget. So it's very similar to what we have over here. So let's see how we are going to implement it inside our Dart pad. So how do you use inheritance inside Dart or Flutter is basically having this keyword called extends. So you might have seen extends stateless widget, extends stateful widgets, and that's basically what inheritance is. And then at the same time for this users, you probably have a monthly bill. So what we can do is we can create a simple function that is called monthly bill. And we will see how much it will cost for a free user and a paid user monthly bill. So currently we have a monthly bill that is null inside our user over here. So the thing about this user class is a parent object. And the thing is, 
maybe in the future we are not going to create any objects using this user class so what you can do is we can put this keyword called abstract class user so what this abstract keyword means is that abstract class basically can't instantiate it as you can see over here from the error abstract classes can be instantiated currently we can't make a instance of our user object since it's abstract and the next thing is what if we were to put a free user object over here does it work well it does not work because we don't have the name parameter or the name field defined inside our free user object how are we going to inherit our name parameter or field so the syntax goes as like your free user object over here and then you're going to put in a named parameter called name and then what we are going to do is we're going to refer it in our super class which is our user and then we are going to point our name field to the name field inside our user class over here and then let's put a semicolon and if you were to scroll all the way down now it's looking great so if you were to run this you could see that our console is printing out 20 which is great because we have inherited our birthday setter method as well so we can do the same to our paid user so we just copy this and paste this over here we will just put this as paid user so we have inherited our birthday parameters at the same time we also inherited the birthday private variable which we can't technically refer to which is fine at the same time we have this monthly bill which is null so if we were to for example put in monthly bill and then if we were to run this you could see that our free user has a null monthly bill so we will probably have to override it which leads to the last concept of object oriented programming which is polymorphism so what is polymorphism polymorphism basically mean having many forms or maybe a real life example is a person with different characteristic for example a person can be a father a husband and an employee same goes as a person as a user a free user and at the same time a paid user so that's some sort of polymorphism so the difference is that a free user will have a monthly bill of zero dollars and a and a paid user will have a monthly bill of ten dollars so these are the different characteristic that differentiate from one another so let's do that inside our flutter and dart programming language so inside our free user object what we can do is that we can just copy this and paste this over here and instead of returning us a null value we can return the zero value so at the same time we can do this inside our paid user and our monthly bill is not zero dollars but ten dollars so if you were to run this code how much do you think we pay as a free user or a very cheapo user if you were to run this then you could see that the monthly bill is actually zero dollars so if you were to change this free user into a paid user what do you think our monthly bill is if you were to run this now you could see that our monthly bill is ten dollars so that's a little bit too much but that's how polymorphism actually work so this is just a very basic example and that's about it that is a very simple example that you can use inside your flutter project because i i think i assume that if you were to have a flutter project you probably have a user object somewhere here or another so you can implement these different concepts of oop or object oriented programming where we covered four concepts which is so first is abstraction where nobody cares about how it is done second is encapsulation where we are going to private certain things that user don't really want us to show then the third thing is inheritance where we get a certain trait that's very common amongst the object that we inherited from and lastly polymorphism where we want to differentiate from one another for example the monthly bill for the different users so that's about it if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want more of this kind of video subscribe down below and comment down any concept that you want me to explain in flutter or done so that's about it stay safe and all the best bye bye